Hey everybody and welcome to another um, lesson here. This is, let me see, continuing from the last lesson of ratio, proportion, and percent practice questions, okay? So we already finished this section. At the end they give us some practice questions. This is the second page of practice questions that we are going to be working on. And that is page 277. So let's get started. Okay, so what percent, using this chart here, right above eight, we see what percent of Ford County farmland is used for the growing of grains, vegetables, and fruit. So we have grains here on the bottom and vegetables and fruits right here, okay? So let's do this. For grains, it's 9,200 plus vegetables and fruits, 5,200. So we have 1,000, sorry, 14,000, 400, okay? 14,400. Um, let's see what that next question is, or what the completion to the question is. So, what percent of Ford County farmland is used for growing of grains, vegetables, and fruits? So, we have 14,000, <coughs> we know is. Uh, the, some of these questions are a little tricky, so I'm trying to formulate it in my head. So, we have 14,000, okay? Um, we know that the total amount of farmland is 40,000. So, what we are trying to do, essentially, is find out like what percent... 14,400 is a 40,000, okay? So remember, guys, when we do percents, a percentage is always amount, an amount out of 100. So this here is equivalent to this percentage. 40,000 is equivalent to 100%. Now we need to see what 14,400 is equivalent to. So like we did in the last lesson, we um, multiply diagonally. So this way, then we divide horizontally, okay? So let's pull up the calculator. So we already have 14,400 up, so multiply diagonally. And remember, guys, you always multiply diagonally towards the side with the missing variable, okay? Which in this case is the x here. So 14,000 times, 14,400 times 100 equals 1,440,000. Now we divide it by 40,000. So divide by 40,000 equals 36. Okay, so x equals 36, and that's your answer. See if that's available. Yes, it is. So B is your answer here, guys. Um, now, number nine here. This one's a little tricky, so I would kind of implore you or recommend that you um, go ahead and read it to yourselves. Pause the video here. Go ahead and read it to yourselves and try and figure it out. If you get it wrong, then play it and see how I explain it. I'm going to clear the canvas. Okay, so I'm assuming you came back from it being paused. One dairy, number nine. One dairy farmer in Ford County is considering selling her farm to developers who will convert it from a dairy farm to a resort. If this happens, the amount of farmland devoted to dairy in Ford County will decrease by 20%. So amount of farmland um, dedicated to dairy. So we have dairy, which is 
22,000 acres, okay? I am using the mouse pad or track pad here, which makes my writing terrible, so excuse that. Okay, so we know that the total amount dedicated to dairy is 2,200. Let's keep reading this. Sorry, 22,000. If this happens, the amount of farmland developed to dairy in Ford County, devoted to dairy in Ford County, will decrease by 20%. How many total acres of farmland will Ford County then have if the dairy farmer decides to sell? Okay, so we need to find out what 20% of 2,200 is. Okay, so remember, guys we need the three variables what we need to find out is what is 20 percent so we have the amount that we need to we have the rate okay which we will be using and remember it's out of a hundred percent always out of hundred percent so we are missing the part okay so we have we're missing the part which is the x the missing variable we have the base and we have the rate and it's out of a hundred percent okay so again we multiply towards the side with the missing variable so this way and guys just to let you know this is always set up this way the part will always be here base will always be here okay the rate will always be here so and you would have learned this already from the previous lesson so let's see we go 20 times 22,000 divided by so we go horizontally this way divided by 100 equals 4,400. So we know that 20%, let's do this, x equals 4,400. Okay. So, let's see. Let's continue to read this. How many total acres? This is the key word here, guys. Total acres. How many total acres of farmland will Ford County then have if the dairy farmer decides to sell? I actually got this wrong when I first did it because I kind of got confused a little bit and I wasn't paying much attention. And they throw all this the dairy aspect of it. So I was thinking, oh, okay, you know. Uh, 22,000 minus 4,400, but it actually says total here. So these story problems, always read them very specifically because they can sometimes be a little tricky. So we know that the total acres of farmland is 40,000. Okay. Again, I'm using this trackpad, which is terrible. You know, just going to use the calculator. 40,000. Um, minus 4,400 equals 35,600. Okay, so that is your answer. A for number 9, 35,600. Okay, let us go to the next one. Let me clear this canvas. Now, number 10. So a serving of peanut butter, can't remember if this is, this is also one that's a little tricky. Um, so you can also pause this one, try and figure it out, and if you get it wrong, then, um, or when you're done, you can check it, see if you did it right. So a serving of peanut butter contains 3 grams of saturated fat and 13 grams of unsaturated fat. This amount of fat is 25% of the recommended amount of fat in a 2,000 calorie diet. What is the ratio 
of grams of saturated fat to the total fat in a serving of peanut butter. So total fat in a serving, as we can see here, it says a serving of peanut butter contains 3 grams and 13 grams of fat. Okay. So we need to combine those. You guys know what 3 plus, I'm not even going to do that problem. 3 plus 13 is 16, right? So it says, what is the ratio of grams of saturated fat? So it's just this one here, 3 grams of saturated fat, because 13 grams here is of unsaturated fat. So what is the ratio of of grams of saturated fat to total fat in one serving. Remember, one serving was 16, because it was the 13 plus the 3. So what is the ratio of grams of saturated fat to total fat in a serving of peanut butter? So we have the total serving, and we have the grams of saturated fat. Now guys we cannot reduce this any smaller so this will be your answer. Okay. So 16 is the total grams. What is the ratio of grams of saturated fat to total fat? 16 is the total fat in a serving. And 3 is the, the ratio of grams of saturated fat. Okay. So a is your answer here. Okay, number 11. Let's do this. Okay, a drawing of a company logo is 4 inches wide and 5 inches long. If the drawing is enlarged so that it is 12.5 inches long and the original proportion remained unchanged, how many sizes, how many inches wide will the enlarged drawing be? So basically, this here we have four inches wide and five inches long. Okay, this is the original ratio four to five. Okay, now look if the drawing is enlarged so that in it is 12.5 inches long. Which one was long here for? Um, so 4 inches wide and 5 inches long. If the drawing is enlarged, so that is 12.5 inches long. Okay. 12.5 inches long. So here we have 12. Point five. Okay, which is the equal proportion to um, the length, okay, when it's made larger. So what we have here is sorry I'm moving around a little bit to get more comfortable. Um, what we have here is five times, okay, this is the missing variable, five, uh, four times 125, okay? So four times, sorry, not 125, 12.5 equals 50, okay? So we did this, remember, we multiplied diagonally towards the side of the missing variable. Now we need to divide it horizontally. So 50 divided by 5 equals 10. So there is your answer, ladies and gentlemen. X equals, this is a, X equals 10. This is a very useful formula to know, okay, guys? Because do it, use it with a lot of ratios, proportions, most of them actually you can use this formula. Um, so 10, so your answer there is B guys for number 11, which is 10. Okay, to me, 
Let's do this here. Okay, number 12, a local hospital currently has 184 male patients. If the ratio of male to female patients is 4 to 3, how many female patients are there in the hospital? So guys, it's very important. See how it says here, if the ratio, when you're dealing with ratios, you have to do it in the same order which they, um, to which they ask the question. So for example, if the ratio of male to female patients is 4 to 3, okay, so we know that 4 is the male, 3 is the female, because they have to keep it in order. Okay, so we have 4 males, well, ratio-wise, and 3 represents female. So how many female patients are there in the hospital? So we know a local hospital currently has 184 males. So 4 is equivalent to 184. Okay. But we are missing the amount of the female. So again, guys, that same formula diagonally towards side of the missing variable we multiply three times 184 you guys can do this out on paper but just for the sake of this this isn't a multiplication lesson three times 184 equals 552 we shall divide that by four that equals 138 so x equals 138. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Um, last one. I'm going to clear this canvas again. Last one here. A newspaper advertisement contains the following information. Busy body, fitness center, inventory reduction, blowout. All sale prices are 20% off original price. Okay, so in dollars, what was the original price of the uh, upright brake? Okay, so we have, sorry, upright bike. So we know that this is the sale price, which is 20% off. So this will be the part, which is always on top. Okay, this is the missing variable here. We know that this 20 is, this 720 is at 80% because it's everything's 20% off. Okay, and we know that 80% is always out of 100. Okay, any a percentage up here will always be out of 100. So then we shall do the same thing that we've been doing. Multiply diagonally 100 times 720 equals 72,000. Then we'll divide that by 8,900. There's your answer. Simple as that, guys. 900 was the original price. Okay. So 900 equals 100%. 720 equals 80%. Okay. So 900 is your answer. Anyways, thanks guys for watching again. If you did appreciate this, please subscribe, hit that like button, hit the bell, share with a friend that you may that you may know that is going through um through GED. And I will there should be about two more uh parts to this particular lesson because it is four pages and I'm doing one page per lesson. So I will see you next time and Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.